Well, here we are at the Pet Centre for some tip-top tips for pet owners. Oh, oh, oh. What whoa, is it, mate? whoa. No. I've just stood in some dog dung. You have, haven't the you? The dung of the dog. Yep. Well, here's a first tip for dog owners. Mix your pet food with luminous paints. Your dog will then produce vividly coloured dog dirt, which is much more easily seen and therefore avoided. Unlike this stuff Vic's just stood in, which is really rather dull and, to me, offensive. Yes, a little like yourself. <laughs> Only joking. Come on, let's get in this pet centre. Come mate. on. Oh, oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. Oh. I've just stood in a secondary residue. You yeah. have. And this time it's applied itself to my sock. Hmm. Same tip applies? Same tip would apply, yes. It would still have been easily avoided, Vic, if it had been luminous. Now, let's stop playing with dog dirt and get in this pet shop. Go on, then. <laughs> with a top tip look at pets. What? <laughs> Just a minute. <laughs> That's better? Yeah. Yeah. Now, pets are a huge responsibility. They require you to love them, to feed them, and of course, eventually, to stuff them. <laughs> shut up! Yeah, shut up. Hey, Bob. Yeah? Our dogs, man's best friend. No, Vic, they're not. Why is that? It's rubbish, that. They never take you out for a pint, they never take you out for a curry. That poodle of yours, Vic's never let you borrow his car, has he? Well, only there once, but it's a good point, Bob. Without so much as a kiss, a cuddle on the doorstep, they'll just grab hold of your leg and rot up and down and rub up and down it. There's no attempt to form a relationship. All after is cheap sexual gratification. See, the thing is, Vic, if you find that embarrassing... Well, I'm not saying that I find it embarrassing. All oh, right. Well, if you find it distasteful, Vic, why don't you try this? Attach a cheese grater to either leg, and once your dog starts rucking, you'll soon see its expression change. I can tell oh, you. All right, yeah. Yes. And it'll add extra flavour to your cheese dishes. Of course. But anyway, Bob, talking of cats, is it true that cats have nine lives? Yes, it's absolutely true, Vic, nine lives. Wow. Yeah, but the problem is, Vic, is knowing how many lives they've actually got left. Do you see what I mean? Yeah. Well, here's a way of finding out. Simply take a mallet and repeatedly strike the cat. The number of strikes it takes to bring about the cat's demise will direct... Uh, 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 or death. Or death will directly correspond to the number of strikes needed. Yeah. Let's try that. <coughs> One. <coughs> two. <coughs> three. <coughs> four. <coughs> five. <coughs> six. <coughs> seven. How many was that? Well, it appeared that Tibbles had seven lives left. It's as easy as that. As former Wimbledon champion and Swede, I deplore cruelty to cats. Indeed, as a goodwill gesture, I no longer use cat gut strings in my tennis bat. Instead, I've restrung it with piano wire. Not only is my game much faster now, but I'm able to chop potatoes and make chips whilst I practice my serve. <laughs> Lovely. Well, Bob, I'm moving soon. No. Oh. Yes. I told you. No, you didn't. Did I not? No. Oh. Sorry. Anyway, I'm moving soon, and the problem is this. Where are you going? Just not far, just around the corner. Anyway, the problem is this. You might have let it, you know, you might have told me before not just let it come out like this, to be honest. I'm sorry. Anyway, I'm moving and the problem... What were you going to do, Vic? Just leave us a note and that's it, you're gone, you're out of my life. Look, I'm sorry. The problem is this. It's just so inconsiderate, Vic. Ooh. Anyway, I am moving house and I'm worried about how to transport my goldfish without the water slopping all over the seats of my Vauxhall Vectra. Nothing, Vic, could be simpler. A few days before your travel, simply pop the goldfish bowl in your deep freeze and voila! Two easily transported goldfish. Pop them in the microwave for two minutes and you'll defrost that precious water. But the fish will be dead. A small price to pay, in my opinion, Vic. Hmm. Anyway, what does one do with dead goldfish?
The answer is very simple. Place them inside library books and slam the books shut. The squashed fish will serve as a useful bookmark and doubly handy as the smell will act as a reminder that the books are due for return. By the way, it was me who wrote, I've got a lovely bunch of coconuts. And not Rex Harrison. Bollocks to that one. I know I'm going to regret asking you this, but what are you doing? Vic, I'm sawing a table tennis ball in half. Thank you. Well, don't you want to know why? What? Do you want to know why? Well, if you feel compelled to tell me... I feel strangely compelled to tell you, Vic. Well, tell me. Listen up. Now, we all are acutely aware of how vulnerable hamsters are to injuries to the head. Head injuries. Right. No, 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 no! Vic, Vic, all right, don't panic. I was only proving a point. Mm. Now, hamsters are at the most vulnerable on the wall of death. Right. The circle of deceit, as mm. it's known in Blackburn. Mm. Now... One minute, they're happy as Larry. Hang on, hang on a minute. Who's Larry? Have you not met Larry? No, but I'd love to. Hey, Larry! Hello, Larry. Hi, do. How do you do? All right, thanks, Larry. Yes, there they are, running round, happy as that bloke there. Yeah, right. But when suddenly there's a momentary lapse of concentration. Mmm. Kapow, multiple head injuries, Vic. Oh, how very sad. They could even slip into a kind of coma. Yes, they could, Vic, but not if they're wearing these little crash helmets made out of a ping-pong ball and a rubber band. It's as simple as that. That's a major advance in our rodent safety campaign. But, Bob, hmm. tell me what happens if our kiddies are not satisfied with such small and conventional pets. You mean if they should want a somewhat less small, somewhat less conventional pet? Exactly. Well, in those circumstances, I personally recommend a puma or a leopard. Ideal for a kiddie, be there four, five, six, seven, even eight. Or nine, even. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> but, but, Bob, would the animal play with the child? Not so much play, Vic, as toy with it. Let me demonstrate. Here, Vic, is an inquisitive four-year-old. Just you watch this. Off you go. <laughs> God, that's terrible. What is? Those bloodstains will never get rid of those without a boil wash or a lemon-flavoured biological detergent. Of course we will, Vic, but let's not discuss detergents right now because we're going to cover that topic in a later top tip extravaganza. Mm, can you believe it? Hey! Well, of course, none of this would be necessary if you could keep a ferocious cat under control. But how? Well... With one of these, an extendable leash. Now I've got an animal on the end of this which is under my command at any given time. It's a Siberian tiger, which is completely under my control. <laughs> yeah, Vic, you say that, but could you get it to come back? Of course I can. By simply depressing this button here, I press that yeah. and the cat comes directly back to me. Give us a go. Let's get off. It. No, give us a Get let's off. Oh, we Vic? Let us no. it. Give us it. Get it. off. Press. Get off! Give us it, Matt! Get off! Get off! Give us it! Get off! Give us it! It's mine! It's mine! All mine! Get off! Give us it! Oh! Now look what you've done! Trixie! 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 You had to meddle, didn't you? You couldn't leave her alone. Well, at least you know where she is now. I suppose so. I never really liked her anyway. <laughs> As a one-time oil rig firefighter and runner-up in the high, high, high Wickham uh, limp exaggerating competition, Siberian tigers hold no fears for me, no. However, I am cautious when dealing with rogue rhinos who will want to charge down the aisles of certain branches of Asda, crushing and goring unsuspecting late-night shoppers. Of course, the best way to deal with this is to take evasive action. Run down between condiments and tinned veg, and just before he catches you, dart quickly towards jams and preserves. The bulky animal's momentum will carry him a good few yards further, enabling you to climb up the adjustable shelving and call customer services for help. You may like to use these words. Customer services, can I have your assistance? Oh. Oh. Well, what a furry and feathery, fun-filled frolic that turned out to be. Yes, and there's still more top tips to come. See you soon!